A few organizational things that might help you while you're working in Google Classroom. If you tap over here on the three lines, sometimes we like to call that the pancakes. So if you tap on the pancakes and look, you can see all of the Google Classroom calendars that you have. They'll pop up, any assignments that you have that are due, those will come up right away. Okay. You can also go in here and if you scroll down, there is a to-do list. And when you tap on this, it will let you see any of the work or the assignments that your teachers have assigned you that you'll see them right there. You could also tap and see what you've done and what you've turned in and what your grades have been as well. If you go over here and tap on the lines again, you can also scroll down to settings. You can see your notifications and you can decide what you would like notifications for. If you want to see um, work and posts from the teachers, you can turn those options on or off individually. You'll get a lot more options and the type of notifications you get on your own device. The other part that is pretty cool to go in there and look, if you go to any of your classes, you'll also notice that there is a filter button on the top right hand side. A lot of teachers now are using topic tags where you can go in and you can kind of search through things. So if you have a teacher that likes to post a lot of assignments, you can go in there and, and look at only the daily work assignments, or you can look at only the project assignments or posts related to that. So that's kind of nice to be able to go in there and do that. Again, that's with the filter topic right up here at the top. If you tap on the About tab, you'll see over here you have a column with your work. You can tap there. You can see all the work you've done in the class and what your grades have been as well. So a lot of little neat tricks and little, little things that you can use to help you get organized with your Google Classroom.